disclaimer before the video starts. I completely made up this video and the entire video is written by Mark. Hello! So yeah, that's why the video may seem a bit off when you watch it because it's not actually talking about any real events. It's talking about something I just completely made up. So yep, yeah, this is the train going back into its depot. And I'll see you. And yeah, I'll, uh, bye. Just earlier today, this nor a Northern Line train got stuck at Brandon North, North, North just after the morning rush hour had started. Let me explain. Just after the morning rush hour started, the train in question, train number 11, got stuck at Brandon North Troop sta Trip Station. And people find out about this thanks to social media on U YouTube Shorts, Shorts alongside Twitter. Uh, um, Facebook, a lot of other social media platforms as well, like Facebook as well. So many, many things just popped up on people's screens about this one train that just got stuck. Huh. So this is an intriguing one. So today I will be breaking down the incident on what happened and see how TFL can actually improve the service and see what will happen to this train afterwards. In this section of the video we'll talk about what what the history of the Northern Line is and why it's so significant in my heart. Heart to do with the Northern Line and, and also the entire network. Let's get into it. The Northern Line which first opened on the 25th of January 2024 or Burns Night to Scots was was the first opening of both the Piccadilly Line and the Northern Line. Late, later on that day, there, there was a closure due to maintenance purposes at Ailsham. Then when the overground opened up, 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 I think it was like yesterday on the 26th, it caused major disruption to the line. Because there there were more trains running, which caused some problems, including stuff like delayed services, services, and also because of recent events, and that some of you may know about. I will put a pin comment talking about those. You may know some of the recent events have caused major delays to both the Northern and Piccadilly lines. Now the reason this line is special to me is because, well, I have to take it every day to get to and from work. This is some YouTube, it's something I do in spare time, in my spare time, and the Northern Line is part of my daily life. So I have to get it northbound from Brandon and into, I think it's Linton and Linmouth, Linton and Linmouth, yep, which causes some issues when the tube is delayed like this. So yeah, the inconveniences of the tube recently have caused some major issues to my travel plans. I hope that makes a lot of sense to you guys. Now we'll talk about the events themselves and what actually happened on the fateful morning that this happened, or aka this morning. So it's currently 6 a.m. M in the morning, 6 in the morning, in the 27th of, of January 2024. And the morning rush hour is just now starting. With the Northern Line, Piccadilly Line, London Overground, DLR, Elizabeth Line, and District Lines all starting to serve their purposes in the rush hour. Now, the main reason that this incident is a lot of commuters is because the trains got stuck but we need to dive into the into the train first and what the station has to do with this incident the train in question train number 11 is not actually known by commuters like myself as the emergency brake train because people only try to prank the driver by pulling the emergency brake on this train and that's why whenever you see train 11 pull into the station here, you're like, well, we're not getting on that train. Now, on TFL, uh, we actually don't think that
that, you know, that's a possible reason for that to happen. Because the train itself has broken down. Like, the engine wasn't running properly when it arrived. Station staff phoned up, up uh, Northern Line Line Control well, to tell them, hey, train number 11, it isn't working properly, it just sounds horrible. Maybe divert all trains by the district, the Docklands like railway tracks instead. So, well, at 7.05 in the morning, I think that's exactly what happened. All trains received a message from, from the Northern Line Controller including the Piccadilly Line ones, saying that the train had been stuck at Brandon North and and that the train could not go through that on the northbound platform. Now, I was one of the trains affected by this, this as I'm recording this later on in the day after I've finished work. Now, the train itself is inevitable to this kind of stuff. But I was on a northbound and a uh, Piccadilly line train just depends which one arrives first I really take and then the driver came on and said all passengers this train will not be calling at Brandon North there seems to be a train stuck in platform one the northbound platform at Brandon North this train will not call here we apologize for any inconvenience so the train diverted off of the normal London underground tracks onto the DLR tracks Next, and in the background of this footage, there's probably a DLR train somewhere, here on the left hand side, or the right, or where, wherever. And then, and it was really confusing for every single commuter, because we were like, we all just kind of looked at each other, and we were like, what? Then all our phones started going off, because we were getting texts, like snaps as well, everything was going off, letting us know that there was a broken down train on the northern line. And I myself, as a human being, not saying that's a bad thing, but for the Northern Line, that's kind of bad. Considering the Northern Line has one of the best services on the whole network. I think it's a train like every three minutes, because it's a metro style service, remember. But the Overground's more like a heavy rail train, remember. And actually, I think there might be a Northern Line train badly affected in the background of this footage, maybe. I think I'm about to go review the footage and see if there is those things. But yeah, that's really essentially what happened. When the RAIB arrived at Brandon North, the RAIB being the Rail Ill Accident Investigation Branch in the UK, hey, they investigate all the rail incidents that's ha that happen. When they arrived at Brandon North, they were completely stumped by what had happened. They actually told some of the commuters on the southbound platform what had happened and why this would probably affect their journey. Now, also, the footage that I'm using has been taken, taken right out of their report video, you know, which they allowed me to use this footage, footage of the train going back to, its de to the depot for repairs. Extensive repairs, actually. After that, I think it would need those repairs. And also maybe remove the emergen emergency brake pull. Just a thought. Just a thought to your family to do that because um, this train's known for it. But anyway, yeah, that's kind of essentially just what happened. Happened today. So if you were traveling on the network, you will know what I'm talking about. If you weren't, thanks for watching and hopefully you learned something today. Please consider liking and subscribing. See you next time. Bye.